Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Disco Bot tutorial. In this video, we're going to be doing a suggestion I got in the comments, which was to make a poll command so that you can, you know, send an embed with some different reactions, and then based on those reactions, people can react, and then at the end, it shows results based on, you know, how many people reacted to different ones, so that you can have like a winner. You know, you could do a vote. The vote could last for an hour or five minutes or however long you want it to last. Uh, you can set all that up. In this one command so you don't need to make like multiple commands for different durations or reactions or anything it's all going to be dynamic and data driven so yeah if you want to get your suggestions heard you want me to make videos on what you guys want let me know down below and i'll get to those eventually but yeah let's get to the video but of course first i've got to thank my patrons a special thanks to some hobo 101 average morning Heidi zorko Rene, evgeny art farrell buddha ray and marie baldwin if anyone else is able to help support the channel Monotelli, the link to my patrons down below, as well as links to social media such as Twitch, Twitter, and Discord. And now our website is going to be linked down below. So you guys can go on there, access our learning resources. You can, you know, create support tickets so that we can come and help you and we're adding more and more features as time goes on. You can see all those on the website. So go check it out, create an account and it's free. Have fun with that. See you guys in the video. Okay, let's just get into it. So we're going to go down in our fun commands. This, you can put it wherever you want, but I've decided to put it here. We're going to make the command poll, and it's going to be a public async task, um, and we're going to call it poll. It's going to take in command context because that's necessary, and we're going to call it ctx. Okay. Now we want to also have some more parameters based on you know what they want to actually vote on. So let's say, well, the easiest way to do this is emojis. We're going to use emojis as the actual uh, reaction options. So we're going to take in an array of Discord emoji, the options. If you guys have looked through the examples on their actual GitHub page, you might actually find this example. I'm going to do the command similar to how they did it, but I'm going to change a bit of it because um, when I've done it in the past, I had a problem with the way they did it. There's some bugs. I think it's because I'm using a newer version of the package than the one they were using, so I had to change some things, but it doesn't really matter. We've got our array of options, but we have to put this keyword here, params, before it which basically means you can have as many as you want. So for example, if I do uh, in Discord, like question mark, poll, smiley face, right? That would then do the command and this array would have one in it, it one element, and it would be the smiley face emoji. But then obviously, let's say I did this, and then I did um, a sad face, and a tongue face. Okay, apparently tongue face like this isn't actually one, is it? Capital P? Yeah. So if I did this, I'd get an array with those three emojis in. So by writing this, I'm going to get an array of emojis based on what they put after the command. But then also, we, we want a duration, okay? So we want a duration of how long the, the poll should last for before it ends, okay? Now, you could just leave the default time in your settings, but I feel like we should let the person decide how long it should be. So the way they do this is they put in a time span duration, okay? So there you have it. We've got the command context, and then they need to pass in the duration and the options, okay? Now, uh, what we do is down here in the command, we want to first of all get the interactivity module, which is just like here. So I can just copy this line for our interactivity. So we get the interactivity. And then we need to actually, um, we want to display to them what the poll options are, and we should actually get them as uh, strings, okay? We should get the emojis as strings. Because as a Discord emoji, there's actually more than just a string, right? There's all these different things about them. We just want them as a string. So we can say var, well, okay, we'll say op emoji options, right? So we call the array emoji options, if I can spell this right, emoji options. So we say options is equal to emoji options dot select. So we need to get link and port link. We want to get the, um, for every emoji option, we want to get it to string, right? So we're gonna convert all of the emojis to string and then we've got them here. And we want to actually send an embed to the user, or not to the user, to the channel, sorry, like showing everyone what the options are, right? So var embed equals a new Discord embed builder. And we're gonna set the title equal to poll. Now you might want to you know, let them pass in the poll name or something, but we're gonna just go with poll for now. It's up to you. If you want to have the name for the poll, you just add it as an extra parameter and use it here. Then we want the description to be equal to these options. But the problem is the options are currently an innumerable string and you can't really, you know, set this to be options. As far as I'm aware, it's not gonna like that, no. We want to actually take this, um, this innumerable, which is just like a list basically, um, slightly different though. And we want to join 
like this, we can join all the elements with a space. So this is the character we join them with. We're joining them all with a space. And then the actual, um, oh, sorry, it's string.join, yep. But then here, it actually wants the values, which are the options. Without the semicolon, I'm sorry. So now we've got the options as an embed like this. So I'm just going to run this and show you guys what it's like right now. But of course, I made a stupid mistake, so we have to go back and we actually have to send the message. So await context.channel.send message async. We want to send the embed and configure await false. But we have to actually say, because it's an embed, that this is the embed part. Because we could also pass in other fields as well. So we have to say the embed is going to be embed. Okay. And now we can try it for real. Okay, so if we do question mark poll and then without the time span, it's not going to work, right? If you just do something like this, it's not going to work. I understand that's not an emoji, but it still doesn't work. We want to do question mark poll, then a time. So if we put in just 10, I also don't think this works, but maybe it does it as hours. I can't remember. No, it doesn't work. Okay. So the way you've got to actually do it is you've got to go S, M, or H based on, you know, seconds, minute, or hours. So if we want 10 seconds, we'll do 10 S, smiley face, sad face, P face. And then it does the uh, embed here, so poll, and here are the options, right? So now we need to react with the options and make it so after 10 seconds, it goes away, okay? So let's go back to the code. So the next thing to do is to react to this, as I said. So we want to actually store this, so var poll message. And here we'll just call this the poll uh, embed, okay? So we've got the poll message, and then we want to go with the poll message to react to it. So we're going to say for each um, var option in options await poll message dot react async so we're gonna um sorry create reaction async we want to create a reaction which is um an emoji so oh we actually no sorry we have to actually react with the emoji options at the top okay so reach option in emoji options um, option is what we actually want to react with um, and then we just want to configure wait false. Okay, so we're going to loop over all the options and create the reaction. So now we'll actually just test this again real quickly. Okay, so I've just written out the command, poll 10 seconds and those emojis. And now when I do it, it actually reacts with the different emojis. Okay, now doing stuff to them doesn't do anything right now, it just reacts with them. So let's actually make it so we can, you know, store the reactions. So let's get the results. We want to say var, uh, var result is await interactivity dot collect reactions async and then we need to know the message and how long okay so the message is the poll message we're collecting it on and the time is going to be this time span up here which is duration okay so it's going to wait essentially it waits how many seconds or minutes or hours here and then when it's done it continues on this next line so once we've got the results we actually want to um, essentially tell them the results, right? So we want to say uh, await context dot channel dot send message async. Now, it depends how you want to display the results. And so the way I'm going to do it is on result, if you look at result dot, uh, not reactions, where is it? So result is a read only collection of reaction results. Okay, yeah. So this is actually, these are the things. A reaction, if we look at the reaction class. Like so. A reaction is an emoji, and then the users that did it, and then obviously like the, the total it was used. Now we don't really care about the users, we just care about the emoji and the total. So we want to build a string, um, which will be, so we can say var like results is equal to result dot select and then we can refer to the emoji or whatever so we want to essentially say get the um, emoji and obviously emoji to string so now yeah we could just send this right we could just send results um, dot sorry string dot join we want to join the with, with a new line we want to join with a new line well, it's up to you what you want, how you want to display it, but with a new line, oops. The results, like so. With an extra bracket there. Okay, but this would just display the emojis used, which isn't very 
useful, right? We need to actually make this into a string. So let's go ahead and do that. So the way we can do that is by using a string builder. Well, not a string builder, but a, um, you know, the syntax where you put a dollar before a string, which means that it's a string inside. But if you use the curly braces, these ones, you can actually add variables in. So what we actually want to do for this is we want to get rid of the string. We're just going to say, put this around here. So we want to, we want to display in the string the emoji. And when you do this, it actually converts it to a string anyway. So you don't have, you don't have to type two string on it because it would just do it twice. Um, and then in here, you also want to say how many people did it. So it's x dot total. Okay. So we're going to basically have low, um, a message with new lines for every emoji used and the total um, count for it. Okay. Let's go ahead and test that. Okay. So I've got the command here. We're going to poll for five seconds with the uh, smile, frown, tongue. But the problem is the, the, um, with the collect reactions, I've noticed this problem in the past and I haven't actually reported a bug thing about it, but there is a slight problem and I'll show you that in a second. So if I send this in and I react with, for example, smiley and tongue, we expect that to be one smiley, one tongue, no frown. And it's almost right. It's one smiley, uh, yeah, one smiley, one tongue. There's no frowns here. Problem is it says this twice. Now, obviously it says one on both, which doesn't mean two. It means there's only one, right? Um, cause this two is mine and the bots and we don't count the bots. So we need to essentially just for the sake of displaying this, um, make sure if we, in this like enumerable of results, so result is the enumerable of, uh, reactions. If any of the reactions have the same emoji, we just remove it. We don't want to basically get rid of any duplicates just to fix this kind of bug. Um, and unless they fix it, I'm highly certain I'm doing this the right way. Cause it's the same way they do it in their example. And it still has this problem. So I'm going to go ahead and just fix this. So to fix the problem, we want to go make another list next to the result. So we'll call it a distinct result. And there's a function in link where you can basically take an enumerable or an array or a list or whatever, and say a list dot distinct. And literally all it does is it just returns the list, but without any duplicate values. So we should get rid of the duplicates here. And instead of selecting from result, we wanted to select from distinct result and that'll fix all our problems. So if we run the bot now, I'm not going to cut head. I'll just wait. It takes like two seconds to come on anyway. Okay. Go back to the bot. Let's try it again. So we'll take the five second poll and send it. And I'm going to react to smiley face and frown. So it should be one smiley, one frown. And there it is. One smiley, one frown. So there we are. That's the poll video. So obviously you can leave it longer than five seconds. You could leave it for a day. You know, you'd have to do well, 24 H or one D. I don't know if you can do days. You could try it. I don't know. Um, it's up to you. You can always go ahead and look in time span, see what there is, right? Uh, uh, yeah, maybe you can do it in days, actually, by the looks of it. In days, you got ticks, you can do it in milliseconds. You know, it's up to you to look into that stuff. It's all up to you. You can design this a bit better, make the embed a bit nicer, the results be displayed in an embed. It's up to you. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've got any more questions about polls and stuff, feel free to ask me in the comments below. Also, ask for video suggestions for my next video so that I can make what you guys want to see, right? It's up to you. Um, also go ahead and join our website, create an account, you know, yada, 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 Patreon, Discord, Twitch, Twitter, all of the stuff is down in the description. I don't need to tell you this. I tell you it all the time, but it would help a lot if you could help me out on any of those external platforms. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time and goodbye.